OpenAI just released its latest AI model, but it's very expensive. Let's dig into why this latest O1 Pro model costs up to $200 per month. OpenAI's latest model, O1, will replace O1 Preview, the model that was available to us back in September of this year. The model is now faster, more powerful, and better at reasoning to really push the limits within math, science, and coding. And OpenAI claims for this to be the very first AI model that actually thinks before it responds, with the reliability and accuracy being the main goals here for this latest model. Now before we dig into the capabilities of the new model, let's first go over pricing and plans because there are some questionable changes being made here. So OpenAI has introduced a new plan called ChatGPT Pro. This is a $200 per month subscription service that includes unlimited access to all OpenAI models, including the new O1 model that just released, as well as advanced voice mode, so you won't be hitting any rate limits on any of their models. OpenAI also has their $20 per month plus plan that also includes this latest O1 model, however you will be hitting rate limits if you're using the model too much. And what I found to be the most important point between these two models is what Sam Altman clarifies in his tweet here. He states that the newest O1 model is available in the plus tier, which is $20 per month. But with the new pro tier, which is $200 per month, that same O1 model can think even harder for the hardest problems. So by having this pro tier, the model will use more compute for more thoughtful answers and have even longer response times. So what this means is that if you do want to have the full potential of the new O1 model and have it think the hardest, then you'll need to pay for the latest pro tier from ChatGPT, which is $200 per month. So you can think of the latest O1 model as being split into two different models. The first is O1, which is available to any paying ChatGPT customer, typically priced at $20 per month. Then you have the O1 Pro mode, which is only available to those that are paying the $200 per month subscription from ChatGPT. But with this, they get access to a more powerful model as well as unlimited use of this new powerful model. This is, however, a steep price given that GPT Plus is only $20 per month making this new pro plan 10 times more expensive. So theoretically, OpenAI seems to believe that their new pro plan is 10 times more valuable than the plus plan, but I seem to disagree. For the vast population, I would stick with the $20 per month plus plan, and here's why. Because of the raw computational power, as well as unlimited usage, this new pro tier is geared towards top researchers and engineers in their fields. So basically, this will be great for power users that have extremely complex writing, research, coding, and math questions that are feeding hundreds of prompts a day to these AI models. So only true power users will need this new pricing model. In fact, Sam Altman himself said that most people should probably stick with the $20 per month plan. As in his tweet, he states that almost everyone will be best served by our free tier or the $20 per month plus tier. A very small percentage of users who do want to use ChatGPT a ton and do hit rate limits often should then use the $200 per month pro tier. Now let's go over the key benefits of the new O1 model. First and foremost, these new O1 models are faster and more powerful with an accurate reasoning model that excels at coding and math. The new O1 models also support image uploads and have been trained to be, in their own words, concise in its thinking to improve response times. So according to OpenAI's internal testing of the new O1 model, they reduced major errors on difficult real-world questions by 34% when compared to the preview version. But one of the main differentiators that I found most enticing is that these new O1 models will attempt to check their work before providing outputs to you, unlike other AI models. Now, if you've ever worked with these AI models for programming or complex tasks, you will often encounter issues where the model begins hallucinating and essentially making things up. So OpenAI claims that the new O1 models can now reason through tasks, plan ahead, and perform a series of actions that can help the model tease out answers to really provide an accurate and thoughtful response to you to really limit the number of hallucinations that the model has. And with O1 Pro Mode, you'll be able to generate longer and even more thoughtful responses from the model. So in a nutshell, if you ask a simple question, O1 will respond quickly. But if you ask a complex and very thoughtful question, O1 will think for a very long time before providing a response. OpenAI themselves have stated that the O1 Pro model performs better on challenging machine learning tasks within science, math, and coding. 
In fact, they saw a 75% reduction in errors for coding questions in everyday programming queries. And if you're a subscriber of the channel or returning, you know how much I've praised Claude's Sonnet 3.5 model specifically for AI coding. So I will be doing some very diligent stress testing of the new O1 Pro model to see how well it competes compared to Claude for complex coding tasks and even building out full stack applications. But from what I've seen initially, I still think that Claude Sonnet 3.5 is the strongest coding model on the market, whereas the new O1 model seems more suited for a wider variety of use cases, not just coding. It seems that Claude has really focused and honed in on their niche of coding-focused AI, whereas OpenAI is trying to make an AI model that's suited for everyone in every industry. Now, let's look at the actual benchmark scores of all the new O1 models. Here, OpenAI has provided three different performance benchmarks across math, science, and coding. The three models being tested is the O1 Preview model, which we've had for a while now. The second model is the O1 model, which I mentioned is available to any paying ChatGPT customer. And the third model is the O1 Pro Mode model, which is only available to those paying $200 a month for GPT Pro. So running down the list, we can see that the Pro Mode clearly excels in competition math while only being marginally better at coding and PhD level science questions. But OpenAI then ran a second test that uses a stricter evaluation setting where a model is only considered to get something right in 4 out of 4 attempts, not just one. The second test is meant to show which model is most reliable because if the model can produce the same exact correct answer 4 times in a row, then you'll have more confidence in the model's abilities. And as we can see, the O1 Pro mode really shines here which is most likely due to the extra compute power available in these models. So if you do want the most accurate and reliable model from OpenAI, then you will need to pay the $200 per month premium price tag. Now, let's see the O1 model in use versus the O1 preview model by the OpenAI team themselves. So on the left and right, we have the O1 and O1 preview models, and we're asking both of these to provide the list of Roman emperors in the second century including dates and accomplishments. And in this example, O1 responded about 60% faster than O1 Preview, but this is variable as the times will change slightly each time you try this out. And then in the next sample provided by the team, they have tested the new image uploads by including a drawn image to analyze and provide very complex commentary for, as well as solve a multi-step problem. And we can see that it took 10 seconds for the model to provide an accurate response with details that were only shown within the hand-drawn images. And within these 10 seconds, we can see that the new O1 model accurately analyzed the image and provided a very thorough response spanning multiple pages for this complex task that required some diligent thinking to solve. And I won't bore you with the details unless of course you are passionate about analyzing lower bound surface areas of data centers while concurrently using the first law of thermodynamics. But the key point to note here is that O1 accurately analyzed the image and utilized all aspects of the image despite it being 100% hand drawn. Now let's go over my personal experience running through these models. And like I mentioned, I do need to thoroughly stress test the new O1 and O1 Pro models However, this is what I found from just a variety of different prompts that I provided. The new O1 Pro model definitely wins at complex reasoning. However, Claude Sonnet 3.5 is not too far off and it provides its responses significantly faster than O1 does. For code generation tasks, Claude Sonnet wins hands down for clean code that isn't over-engineered. For mathematics, O1 Pro seems to handle complex math tasks better but I'll be the first to admit that I'm not a PhD level math expert, so this was a bit hard for me to judge. And for writing, I found O1 to be just a bit better at breaking down complex prompts and even explaining complex concepts better. And this new O1 model is not all that OpenAI has announced. O1 is not yet available within OpenAI's API, but this should change soon. And there should be new capabilities such as function calling as well as image analysis. OpenAI also plans to add support for web browsing, file uploads, and even more in the months ahead. And this isn't all, as OpenAI plans to kick off a ship miss period of new features, products, and demos every day for 12 days. My final thoughts on this model is that $200 per month is way too high of a cost unless you are a true power user. So unless you're feeding hundreds of prompts a day to these AI models, then I would stick with the plus version of O1, or better yet, Claude. 
And to add to that, most of the differences between the O1 and the O1 Pro models seem to be marginal at best. So what do you think about OpenAI's latest AI model? Do you think $200 a month is way too much to be charging for access to AI? And do you think this will mark the beginning of inevitable price hikes within the AI industry? And if you're interested in a program that will help you build apps completely with AI, then make sure to check our link in bio at AI Code Pathways. We provide the industry-leading program to help non-technical founders build their first app completely with AI. We do this with leading AI coursework and a network of developers that are there to help explain code for you, provide prompts, and even debug code when AI gets stuck. This added touch bridges the gap between AI and humans to really elevate the full potential of AI. And as a final note, be sure to be on the lookout for any new releases from the OpenAI team because as I mentioned, they're doing 12 days of ship miss. So make sure to like and subscribe for more videos covering everything about AI and its latest developments here at AI Pathways.